Earth's gas is in abundance and so is clean energy that does not uh, damage the ozone layer and can be combined with solar not only to meet Nigeria's energy but the net zero emission deadline of 2060. This was the position of experts during a discussion forum on Africans' energy transition, uh, business regulation and dispute management held in Lagos. Discussions at the forum were focused on funding clean and renewable energy products, financing clean and renewable energy opportunities in clean and renewable energy projects, as well as climate change and energy transition. First of all, we need to see where are we coming from? For a million standard cubic feet of gas, about three point, uh, if you take a look at the combined cycle gas turbine, that will give us close to four megawatts of electricity, about 3.7 or thereabout if you do a, um, a combined cycle. If we lose that, we've lost it irretrievably lost. So we need to think of that in the first place. So how did um, Nigerian um, waste gas flare pollution regulation come into being? Intended shift um, from eventually from uh, diesel powered buses uh, to electric buses which is far more environmentally friendly. Now, of course, of course the, the energy side, which is about um, powering the buses, providing energy uh, to charge uh, the batteries. And then, of course, the capital outlay in terms of acquiring the, um, the hard stock, the, the stock themselves. When you are talking about green projects, climate-friendly projects, they come with higher costs. That's why we're having the conversation. Um, if uh, Mr. Akpene was to approve a PPA for solar, he will have to provide a feed-in tariff. The feed-in tariff is a much higher tariff than what you will get from other projects. And it's similar to the BRT buses. If you are transitioning to a climate-friendly transportation system, it comes with a high cost. Baba today, Fagbo Hulu, SCN, maintained that Nigeria has what it takes to overcome whatever challenges as a result of seeking solutions for climate change with regard to renewable energy. Tax incentives alone will not do it. We need to uh, provide an enabling environment. Uh, regulation has to be uh, predictable and stable. You know, people want to... Until recently, um, you know, it was extremely difficult getting investors to invest in Nigeria because of all the issues with uh, foreign exchange in Nigeria. You know, people need stability, you know, in terms of regulation, economic policies to be able to make an investment. So it goes beyond tax incentives will help, but it goes well beyond that if we are serious about attracting investment in that sector. It's one of the key things that investors will look out for is the regulatory environment to be sure that we have um, proactive regulation that can support investment. Today in Nigeria, we have um, what we call regulatory somersaults. One minute, a policy is, um, is put out there, the next minute is changed. So if you have an environment where investors cannot, are not sure of what regulations they will abide by, then that's a problem. It's fear of any investor is lack of stability whether it's a lack of stability and lack of consistency, then again, they'll be scared and they won't want to invest. So I think African countries need to, they need to create the enabling environment. Uh, and a very important aspect of the enabling environment is the rule of law, policy consistency, and uh, consistency in the way decision making is done. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.